Hi, this is Glenda, and today I'm making a piña colada soup. I have here the recipe and most of everything that I'm going to need. The oils, which I'm actually going to measure them out. I'll be using a little bit of uh, this colorant, yellow number 5. And the fragrance will be piña colada from Lone Star Candle Supply. I have this embeds because I wanted it to look like a piña colada drink, so I made this with soap dough, some coconut pieces, and some pineapple pieces. I also have some shredded um, soap pieces from when I beveled them, which I think I can put on top as um, coconut shreds, and I also chopped some more that could also be like coconut uh, pieces. I'll be using for the first time this mold, it's tall and skinny. It's my first time using it, so I made this frame because I've kept hearing that they tend to bow in the middle. So hopefully this helps it stay, keep it from doing that. And I did mix the light water ahead, it's in here. You will notice that something peculiar has happened with it. And it is that it has a pink tint. This is rainwater. And I did take the pH before. It seemed to be between 5 and 7. 7 being a neutral pH. So it's a little bit on the acidic scale like most water tends to be from what I was reading. Oh, and I also have some coconut milk. Which I actually froze ahead. Since I figure most piña coladas have some coconut milk in them, it'll be good to add it. So first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to measure the oils. I need about, let's see, 34 ounces. Okay, so I have here the light water solution with the oils, which I'm not sure if it's film or not. And I added the frozen milk, coconut milk. So this should stay fairly cool. It's 92 at the moment. Or 33 Celsius. I hope that the mixing of the lye with the oils will generate enough heat to melt the coconut milk. Which it seems to be doing that. It looks smaller. But I'm not going to introduce the blender until I'm sure it's melted. Meanwhile, I'm going to measure the fragrance. I think it has a little bit of vanilla, but I don't remember exactly how much. It looks like the coconut milk is just about dissolved. I'm going to start blending with the stick blender. That fragrance smells really good. It's very sweet though. So I had added a little bit of the yellow lake into this, so that's probably why it's already looking yellow. I only want a very light yellow color, so I added about, I think, one eighth or a quarter of a teaspoon. It was very small amount. Right now it looks like it has a um, rich emulsion face. So I'm going to go ahead and add the fragrance and see what happens. I'm only going to stir the fragrance with the spatula in case it's an accelerating one. It does not seem to be accelerating. I don't see it, that it has reached trace yet. Alright, it looks like it has reached a light trace now, so I should be safe to add it to the mold. And I said that mainly because I was working with lower temperatures than normal, so if it had not reached trace, I could have risked it not going through saponification. The center seems to actually be 
bowing inwards instead of outwards. But I'll let it be. Making this soap reminded me of the time I went to Puerto Rico with my family. Over there, uh, piña coladas are quite common and every restaurant we went to had it, so we drank a lot of piña coladas. They were virgin, by the way, because that's what's most popular over there as well. Someone taught me how to make them, actually, and they're very easy to do and very good. The recipe is actually found on the back of the Goya coconut cream can. So if you want to make it, I recommend it that you looked it up. They're very good, and the main ingredients are pineapple juice, the Goya cream of coconut, and vanilla ice cream. And this is what they look like on top. So it's been two days since I made it and earlier I tried to get it out but it was sticking to the sides so I put it on the freezer for two hours. Then I was able to push this back and I can see that it's coming apart now that it's a little bit frozen. So I'm gonna let it come to room temperature before I can cut it. I do see some yellow spots. I'm not sure if that's the fragrance or what else it could be. Or the colorant. I do like the overall color because it seems uh, very much like the color of a piña colada when the milk is mixed with the pineapple. Anyway, thank you for joining me on this soap making adventure. I'll see you next time. Bye.